How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to another tank review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Lava, which is one of the oldest tanks in the game. Uh, it has, it was the first or one of the joint first, like the T-34 and stuff like that, uh, premium tanks that went into the game. I have done kind of mini reviews on it, but I haven't gone through and done a proper uh, full length kind of review on it. So we're going to be doing the reviews slightly differently. Um, we're going to be going into a game and then we're going to be talking about the stats as we play the game to try and not waste as much time and to get as much information into it but still be entertaining at the same time. So uh, yeah, let's go and play a game and we're going to go and talk about it. So the lava. What is all of this about? Well, the lava is big and slow, and it used to have a lot of armor compared to kind of other tanks. Like, this was a pretty decent turret at one point, but with all the recent kind of tier 10s and the tier 9s to a point as well, it just doesn't really function as well as you would hope. Um, don't get me wrong, this turret is still very, very competitive, even for today's standard in water tanks. Um, it will absorb a lot of shells um, where other tanks just won't. Um, and still, the penetration value on this gun is still really nice. 234 on the standard rounds, and then 294 on the premium rounds make this thing very, very nice to play. And it's also very, very accurate. Um, it gets 0.33 dispersion as base, and you can put that all the way down. I believe this is about either 0.3 or 0.29. I can't quite remember. Um, it's 0.29 um, that I have it at the moment, and that's without any bounty equipment or anything like that. I oh, need to be a bit careful there. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't have great DPM. 0.6 base DPM is a bit... Yeah, that's not really what you want, but... You can get it up to nearly 2k, um, and you can get it past 2k if you're using, say, vents at the same time. Um, what I'm using at the moment is... Ooh, we might be out of a shot here. Unlucky. What I'm using at the moment is Rammer, and then we've got the, in the mobility slot, because we've done all the field mods, uh, we have Turbo as well, and then V-Stab. Um, I'll put V-Stab on basically anything, um, as long as I can put it on, um, because the more dispersion that you get, the better, or dispersion reduction, I just say, the better. Um, but overall, the dispersion values aren't too bad on this tank. You could technically maybe forgo um, V-Stab and replace it for Vents and kind of play it in the same kind of role like the Super Conk you could play, um, where you could play like HP Boost, uh, Turbo, um, and then Rammer. But as you can see here, we're not really having any problems, and the main thing about this tank is that it's accurate enough like you can deal with people it doesn't matter that you have really really bad dpm if you have the gun that can actually hit stuff and honestly in water tanks nowadays dpm isn't everything it's nice don't get me wrong and having very very poor dpm is not fun Ooh, we might be able to actually have a shot on the a43 but the fact that we can actually just hit pretty much every shell that we fire that is better than having a million DPM at least in my opinion um, mobility wise 34 forwards and 15 backwards is not very fast which is why I have a turbo on it uh, maybe we can go through like a blind shot here or something uh, just fire one randomly uh, you also get like a stupid amount of shells like, look at this it's I recently marked this thing, as you can see it's on 95%, um, and I was obviously just spamming gold, but even then, you're not going to lose money most of the time on tier 8 premiums if you're spamming gold. But with, with gold rounds on this thing, it's actually so nice to mark. Like The requirements aren't stupidly high for this thing, and the fact that you get 294 premium pen with really, really fast shell velocity as well at 1.4, it just hits everything. It's such a nice tank to play. And probably one of the best credit grinders in the game still, even in 2021. Like, it's 
a super old tank, but still, you're grinding credits. Um, and you don't really have to think about it either. Another thing is that it does get 1,650 health, which is really, really nice. Um, because in, a, in today's kind of tanks where they keep getting introduced and they don't really have that much health as kind of a balancing feature, um, like with uh, like with some of the uh, the concept that doesn't have that much health, right? Um, tier nines could have around about 1.7k. So to have 1.7k with all the field mods and 1.65 um, just base, it's good. You feel like you can actually take a hit, and remember this is without HP boost. If I put HP boost on this, we'll be at like 1.8k or something. So we're at kind of tier 9 level HP um, for a tier 8 tank. It doesn't get preferential matchmaking like the old uh, tier 8 premiums do. Um, because this, the T-34, they were kind of given guns that could fight tier 10s. Um, and yes, they can. I mean, to a certain degree, they can. Obviously, 294... You're going to struggle a little bit against uh, tier 10s, but on the whole, usually it's enough. Uh, you don't... I've never felt in this tank that it's just not good enough. Right? Maybe the only time that I felt that is when I'm trying to fight something in a head-on like kind of DPM battle, and I'm out in the, in the open. But then at that point, you're not really going to win unless you're in something that has more DPM than whatever you're fighting. And the problem with that is that majority of the time you're going to be sitting here like this behind cover and just popping shots out now and again as and when you can. It's very, very rare to get in those situations where you need all the DPM. And that is the only time that I kind of felt kind of this tank wasn't that good. I would say that the turbo is kind of mandatory on this tank though because 11 power to weight... <laughs> It's not very fun. Um, as you can see here, we are struggling going up the hill. We're going at, what, 10? Maybe we can reach 11? Nope, we can't even reach 11. It's not fast, like, at all. And when you're in these kind of maps where you want to move around a little bit, you kind of really feel it. And if you don't have turbo, it just makes things even worse. Maybe we can have a shot on this guy. I'm not sure. They're playing really passively. But mind you, they can't really push anywhere. And like they can't take the base because this is pretty... Uh, it's got good vision, so... Speaking of vision, this thing gets 400 meters base. For whatever reason. Like, it literally doesn't... It, you don't have to put vents on this thing, and you don't have to put coated optics on this thing. That's just how good the view range is. It's good enough, even without that. And you don't have to use food, either. Food will help, but you can get to around about 440 without food and without vents or coated optics. Like, this thing is so well-rounded. As you can probably tell, it's pretty fat. But it's so well-rounded that you just forget that you're, you're grinding credits, you're playing a tier 8 tank in like a tier 9 game or something. It's just beautiful. I'm going to see if we can shoot this uh, M44 when he fires next. Hmm. That's not very nice. The AMX is over there as well. Would have thought that we uh, would be able to spot the SU, but I guess not. If the SU pull, uh, comes up this way, then we, we should be able to shoot him. The only problem with this map is that we're just going to have to sit here and do nothing for a little bit. Which is stupid. Honestly. Maybe we can spot someone. I don't know. We just get spotted for it. Ugh. There's there's actually nothing you can do. It's literally the team that camps the most wins now. 
Because we can't kill this guy. We can't kill anyone else because we can't spot them. The Super Hellcat says, why you stay cover and wait for enemy to kill you one by one? What are we meant to do? Just rush in like you did and die? Yeah, that went well, didn't it? I think the SU is going to appear up here in a second. Of course I bounce, and now I'm going to get shot by the P-43, so I need to move forwards. We might be able to get a shot off here. The fact that the Progetto didn't spot this is a problem. And I don't know where the Skoda's gone. You know what? I'm just going to low premium here. We should be able to just go straight through him. He's running away though. There's one in. Nothing much I can do here, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we tried. I mean, there really isn't anything you can do. We lose a win match because you... Artist... Chicken... Re nice. Yes. Next time, play Pokemon. He literally... He's... He, he died there. What... Well, what was his plan? Ah, uh, let's see how this guy done. Mm. He fired four shots, hit two. Nice. Nice. A good player. But he's toxic and so bad at the game. Nice. We love those types of players. But even though that we lost, uh, we still gained a decent amount of credits. Um, obviously, subtract 45k from this. Um, and maybe that. But we still earned 65k just from the baseline. Uh, which is... Pretty nice. Like, for 2k damage, 65k, that's pretty decent. Uh, we'll play one more and uh, see how it goes. Right, we get Minsk. Mmm, beautiful. Um, hopefully we can actually do something on this game. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, overall, the, the lover is just... I, I have no problem recommending this tank to people. Because... Uh, I have no problem recommending this tank... A lot of the people, there's the there's a kind of the meme associated with it, right? Where everyone who drives a Lurva is just a new player and has just got the credit card out to get a tier 8, right? Or at least it used to be like that. Um, and to a certain point, it's true, right? You, you will see those types of players, but I don't recommend anyone doing that. I recommend the tank if you know, you know what you're getting in for and you want to have a tier 8 moneymaker. But I wouldn't recommend you buy a tier 8 until you've got to at least tier 8 yourself and you've played a few games. It can side scrape as well, which is quite nice. That's unlucky. Um, the only problem that you need to watch out for is, as you can see, it bows out here. Like you can kind of see. Not very well, but you can sort of see it there. Um, it bows outwards and it's a problem because that is a weak spot so when you are side scraping all they have to really do is just hit this little tiny bit here and they'll pen so that can be frustrating when that happens but it doesn't happen too often hit the wall nice but yeah there's there's plenty of kind of um equipment choices you can make i guess um, on this tank, not just it's not just kind of oh yeah you must use this and then you're done. There's there's plenty to choose from. Like you could go Vance Rammer V Stab right, or you could go um, like I have 
the old vents, uh, sorry, the old rammer, turbo, and then V-stab. Or you could just ditch the, the V-stab and go for vents. It's completely up to you. There's n not really any set thing that you should use. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could use optics. Like, I don't know, it's your tank. You can do what, whatever you want with it. Oh, look, we finally hit him. Didn't do any damage, though. We might be able to get a shot on this VK if he crosses. Which he is. Nice. But don't get me wrong, this tank is accurate, but it's not going to do anything magical. Like, it, it can't do miracles. That was... I thought that hit his Capola, but I guess not. I guess we hit just below it. Just need to side scrape here, that's all we need to do. We don't need to do much. There we go, finally we've hit his Capola. It only took, what, 10 shots or something? <laughs> okay, yeah, two in a row, sure. Now we can suddenly hit everything, right? Ooh, can we shoot that lever? No. The G saw out there, which is going to be a problem, so we kill him. Wait, it's, it gets such nice dispersion on this gun that it just... You get... You have nearly 0.3... Sorry, a, nearly, a near 3 second aim time on this thing. But you just don't feel it, ever. Because it never blooms out that much. It's just such a nice gun on this thing. I think maybe we move around and try and get some shots from this side. Maybe we should push into the middle a little bit. It's literally just going to be... This video is just going to be me. Like, half an hour, Max talks about his love for lava. Right. If it's even half an hour, I don't actually know. It's a bit unlucky. <laughs> oh, it's such a good gun. <laughs> it's so nice. I mean, it says 0.229, right, on my dispersion, but I've had tanks with less dispersion than this, and they can't hit stuff like that. Oh, look, an enemy lava. Yeah, okay, sorry. I was talking too much, uh, too many nice things about the lava, and now it's uh, it's gone. What, Max? What's that? You want to be nice about the lava? Yeah, yeah, look, we're just going to miss a few shells. Is that okay? Sure, okay. Cheers. Bye, Max. Just continue pushing forwards. There's a barrage to our right somewhere. But do I care? No. Ah, one thing that I will say. This thing will get set on fire a lot if you're not careful. You need to be careful with it. Because frontally, it will get set on fire. From the side, it will get set on fire. Like... It doesn't like shells entering the tank. Can we put one more in? Not quite. We should really push forwards to try and get one more shell in. I'm just going to go side on because, yeah. He, one, he's running away, and two, the these are going to shoot him anyway, so. And now it's just the GW left. That's it. So, yeah. Wait, can I... 
I can't see over that. <laughs> Imagine if you could see over that and you see them running down this way. We might be able to get a shot in. I'm not sure. I think we, could, we were just too slow, unfortunately. Maybe not. The Progetto isn't going for him. Wait, why? Why did he go out? Oh, really? Why did he go out? Okay, that makes no sense. But yeah, 3.5k. We didn't fire any premium rounds. It's just beautiful. It really is a special tank. We had 200k for that. It was only up until recently that I kind of fell in love with this tank, though. I never really knew how to play it. And yeah, the turbo does help out a lot. But if you forgo the turbo, let's say, um, the other way to play it is with vents. If you choose vents, you then get 0.28. And then, of course, you can reassign this to firepower. And yeah, it's just, this is a monster, which is really nice. And I think, ah, you know what? We'll play a game in this. I like this tank. <laughs> Okay, so we get Cliff. Um, we do lose 5 kilometers an hour, obviously. Um, nothing we can really do about that. That's just the way that Turbo is, um, without Turbo. Um, but playing another game does give me the opportunity to talk about the tank's armor a little bit more, which I didn't really speak about too much. Um, the turret on this thing is good. The only problem is that if you have anything that's got super high pen, and I'm talking maybe around kind of 280, uh, a bit more than that, it, you can go straight through the gun mantlet or the gun. It's a bit like the Panzer 7 in that respect. Um, so keep that in mind. You are not invincible when you go hold out. Um, and also underneath, you see the turret ring. That is also a weak spot. As well as also having a cupola, which you can hit. Um, yeah, all of those things add up to not being really, really strong uh, when in a hold down position. Are you really shooting me? Right, go away, Artie. If he does 300 damage to me. Uh, I hate artillery and people that can outspot me and just stay hidden. I don't even know if I'm spotted. We don't have anyone to spot this. I guess we just wait here for a second. How does that bounce? Oh, please team, spot something. He should be dead. I don't know how he's still alive at the moment. Thank you. Like, I need this to be spotted and this to be spotted before I can do anything. I don't know what's spotting me, but something is. I guess the SU. But yeah, the armor on this thing is good enough, honestly. It's it's so good, this tank, but also balanced. It's not OP. Like no one's going to say the lover is OP. It's too slow. And it's too kind of, it's got too many flaws in its armor layout with the kind of bowing out hole here and the lower plate which is basically completely flat um, and you can pen with basically anything um, so yeah, it's definitely not kind of like a tier 8 chief let's say right That's just unlucky. I think the SU is going to be peaking in a second, so we'd be able to shoot this in a... Well, now. And we get the spot in on the tiger. Nice. Good. So far, so good. All the view range helping out there. I think we hit him blind. 
Um, yeah, but that's basically the game now. Not really very entertaining, because there wasn't really much going on, but... Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any more damage out of this. Can I get one more shell in? Now, of course, it bounces. I mean, why wouldn't it? There you go. Maybe we hit one blind. Uh, was it on that? We hit him for 260. Bit of a low roll. It doesn't matter what kind of loadout you use. It's just a good tank. But you can use this and this. This I would probably... You should use this until you unlock all the field mods for definite. And then you can kind of go into the... I want a bit more mobility and stuff like that. Um, if you want to. Um, for the field mods, quickly before uh, we end, there we go, that's better now I've got rid of my ugly face. Um, left, left, right, they're the best ones, by far. All-terrain suspension is going to help you out dramatically because this tank does not get very good terrain resistance, so this is going to boost it a lot for you. Um, and then obviously, the left-hand side, a small aiming circle is always going to be better than reducing the aiming time because... Especially on tanks where they have good dispersion, the aim time doesn't matter um, because the circle is always going to be small. So getting that accuracy down is just going to increase it even more or help you out even more, I should say. And then view range because 10% for stun duration, let's say you get hit by RT for 10 seconds, that's one second. I'd rather have permanent 3% free, free to view range rather than a one less second of stun. And chances are, I'm just going to medkit the stun anyway. So it's not really going to make any difference to me. That is the Lurva. It is a beautiful tank. It really is. Do I recommend the Lurva? Yes. Is it expensive? Yes, it's one of the most expensive tanks in the game. Um, in fact, it might be the most expensive tank in the game that is not kind of... Because it's always for sale, right? Yeah, it's always for sale. I believe it is the most expensive tank that you can buy for gold. Um, that's always on sale. Oh, and not to mention, it weighs 100 tons, nearly. 90 ton tank. Don't ram this thing. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this kind of different kind of style of reviewing the tank, where we just play some games and then talk about the stats, rather than going through all the stats individually and stuff like that. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you prefer this style. Let me know what I could improve upon because I want to try and make these a little bit better each time. Um, and obviously the first few are not going to be great, let's say. Um, like with anything, it takes time to practice and learn. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and left a like if you did enjoy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.